Hey everyone, uh, back to another review of mine. Uh, this you can say um, it's beginning to be a, tradi a tradition in my channel. Uh, I talk about uh, what has happened uh, in this year uh, that is coming to, to the end. Uh, and uh, I usually talk about my personal life, what has happened, uh, but I uh, usually mention something uh, uh, something close to me. Uh, so, yeah, so let's jump right in. Uh, so, uh, if you see me drinking something, it's just uh, currently ill. I have high temperature and uh, my throat is hurting but uh, yeah uh, so what what can I say uh, there's still COVID uh, there was still COVID uh, this year uh, and the first thing that happened uh, was uh, uh, very devastating uh, uh, my, uh, my grandma died, uh, my mom's mother died, um, uh, in her own house, uh, at night, uh, she wanted to get up to the bathroom, uh, but, uh, she fell as soon as she, uh, as soon as she got up and, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, I think it was insult that uh, that she died from, uh, but she was uh, she was already uh, like very uh, very weak uh, uh, before that. Um, you can say the whole yeah uh, uh, the whole uh, three months I think. Uh, well, not maybe three months, maybe one month uh, before her death, uh, she was uh, really uh, weak. She couldn't even uh, go really without any stopping uh, from one side, from her uh, uh, house to the other side, which is not even that far. Uh, so, yeah, that was the... That was the first uh, thing that was devastating to me uh, at first when I got the news I was shocked I, I didn't cry but I was just shocked uh, but when uh, the when the how do you say when I, well when you go to a graveyard and bury the dead person then uh, that was I, I cried the whole time. I uh, as soon as we got to uh, to that place where she's gonna get buried, then uh, uh, I started crying because uh, well, that's tradition uh, to like um, uh, open the casket uh, for everyone to see, and then the the person. Uh, the one person is uh, talking about like how she grew up and what she did and uh, a lot of people actually uh, were there uh, because um, uh, where she lived in Pilsrundal uh, she was uh, a very popular teacher uh, back in the back in the days and uh, a lot of uh, people came because that was their teacher um but uh yeah that was the first thing that actually happened not a, not a very good start uh so i actually forgot to mention this uh, at the start of the video but uh 
I think I said the last two years that the year was uh, rough. I understand the last year because that was just a shock because of the co the corona, but uh, I would say this was the the roughest year of my life. Uh, but um, the bad things don't stop there. Uh, my dad was sick. Uh, he was in the hospital. He got two surgeries done. Uh, he should have gotten only one surgery, but uh, when he came back to to live with us at home, then uh, he again began sick, uh, and it turns out that uh, the like the doctors that uh, performed the surgery, it was uh, like. I actually don't know uh, what is uh, the name of that thing that they surged, surged out uh, in English. I can only say it was uh, in Latvian Jules uh, uh So it's like uh, if you like feel hurting in Jules Pulses, that means that you probably eat breakfast, go to work, don't eat anything for lunch. Uh, wait, no. Yeah, lunch. Uh, only eat perhaps like uh, just one uh, sandwich maybe. Um, and uh, then at dinner you eat a whole lot of things. That's bad. That's bad for you if you do that. Um, so that got him at the hospital the second time. They performed the second surgery, and then that was the whole thing done. Of course, he couldn't uh, three months uh, lift any heavy things, but and couldn't like uh, do uh, PE. But uh, uh, yeah, everything's fine with him now. That's good. Cat is joined. To talk about uh, the things that have happened. Um, so, continuing on. Actually, this, what I'm about to say, what happened uh, uh, before. Uh, that was out of the hospital. Um, that was uh, that my mom, when she drove out of the gar uh, garage... Uh, she broke off the front bumper of the car. Uh, look at him. Um, uh, yeah, uh, that was just a small little detail of uh, life. Uh, uh, one thing that stuck into my head really bad was... Uh, uh, that Israel uh, took um, Palestine land. I think that happened. I think something like that. Uh, but uh, yeah, that was also something. I don't know why, but that just stuck into my head the whole year. Uh, then, uh, let's start off with... Uh, uh, World Hockey Championship. Uh, team Latvia won Team Canada for the first time in history. That was a very uh, special moment in my life. Uh, that it, I could have, uh, like, I saw that game. That the first time when Latvia actually won Canada. Um, of course, yeah, maybe Canada didn't have the best roster. Uh, for uh, this year's championship, but uh, at the end they still won. <laughs> they actually they still won the world championship. So uh, you can't say that they were a bad team. Of course, yeah, maybe the first couple of games in the championship they were bad, but at the end they won. They still got gold medals. Then uh, continuing uh, the video. 
uh, at uh, 4th of July this year. Uh, unfortunately, my, my cat Putinj died at the age of only three. Uh, we couldn't really understand what happened to him. Uh, like, I think, yeah, the last two days of his life, he really wasn't moving a lot, and he uh, also peed the, the same place where he was sitting, so that was just um, also really uh, like unfortunate um, and uh, but yeah how, so remember when I said um, when I got the news uh, that my grandma died I was just shocked I didn't cry I only cried when I saw her and that's the same thing uh, I was with Putin when he died and then I cried also in 2017 when my uh, previous cat at the age of 18 died of cat years uh, then uh, I also cried because I saw his last breaths like and uh, the same day the guy that helped Team Latvia win Canada 3-0 died another devastating loss uh the future of team latvia's goaltending mati skilonix died um there was a lot of uh, a lot of uh, conspiracies for uh of how he died but at the end we got the message that uh uh the team was celebrating uh the, the Columbus Blue Jackets were celebrating um, 4th of July, which is uh, American, I think, Independence Day. The same as, like, Latvia of the uh, 18th of, the, of the November. And uh, uh, yeah, that was very shocking, uh, shocking to hear. Uh, I, yeah, I think I, yeah, I got the message that he died, uh, I think, early or early in the day. I think it was the fifth uh, of July because, well, America time zones and Latvia time zones, you know. Um, if I think it was like midday, and uh, I just looked at TikTok and uh, one guy posted that, and I was like, "You got to be kidding!" And then I went in the news, and that was actually correct that uh, he died which was yeah and now when the NHL players cannot participate in the Olympic Games now which we're like I hope they're gonna happen uh, now we don't even have really like decent goalies okay we have like Puninov so we have Kalnich but we really need a Mer Merzlikins and um, Kilomix. But Merzlikins cannot now go to the Olympic Games. And Kilomix is not with us anymore. So our only hope is Puninovs and Kalnich maybe. Uh, something... Uh, Let's do something uh, to cheer up ourselves on. Uh, yeah, I think it was, yeah. One uh, week before my birthday, uh, I was uh, doing a party with my close friends at uh, my uh, countryside's uh, uh, place. And um, we did like uh, a sleepover, like the next day we also uh, were there, and uh, we played like 1v1 uh, mini floorball, and at one point when I played uh, 
my last match in the final against one of my friends. Um, uh, my dad drove back. He got me an early birthday gift and he uh, gave me this boy right here, which is currently in my lap. Can't really show him now. <laughs> He's sleeping already, but you saw him at, uh, uh, previously. He's called Rudis, uh, the same as my classmate. But that wasn't really intentionally. Uh, at first, uh, I wanted something with a uh, story with the letter P because uh, the previous two cats who we named uh, Binkies and Pultinch, and they're both starting with P, and but uh, couldn't really find good names of P, and we really like like the name Rudis and. I think it suits him because he's a crazy cat <sighs> sometimes he wants to just cuddle but he really is uh, a human person uh, like he wants attention like he sleeps only where people are um, another good thing well I will we'll try to, to to make it happen Currently, um, uh, I'm planning to do the floorball league, my, uh, my own floorball league, which is called Amateur uh, Floorball League uh, AFL. Uh, and currently, I actually don't remember how many people we have. I think we have 18 people, uh, or 19, I don't I remember. Uh, and I'm planning to do like uh, teams of four people. So one goalie and three players on uh, on the on the floor, and currently it's going well. I'm soon uh, gonna get uh, a goalie goalie masks, maybe some uh, t-shirts like those small uh, little like shirts that probably in PE you get uh, when you play in teams like um, no I think you understand um, and uh, well currently I think it will happen but uh, I currently uh, can't tell because that's still a far way to go it's gonna be January now and uh, the first like meeting for us is we have done like April uh, So That in April we're gonna like do the teams but uh, yeah uh, If you want to participate in that then uh, uh, I will link uh, uh, a link uh, below the video uh, where you can like uh, uh, register for that um, uh, for the league and uh, if you want to see some content currently we don't have really content but soon we will uh, how I said we're gonna announce the team so uh, uh, go check us out on Instagram and uh, on TikTok as well. Uh, both called Amateur Floorball League. And uh, yeah, go check us out. Unfortunately, we will have to end the video with uh, a sad thing again. Uh, it was November, I think, yeah. When... Uh, or October, I don't remember. Uh, we went uh, to the graveyard again to like just uh well you know like put some flowers on and because at that day uh it should have been uh, my grandma's birthday and then afterwards we went to that house that uh grandma and grandpa lived in uh and suddenly at the dinner table, my grandpa collapsed. He was yellow. We called the ambulance. Uh, 
again, it was a really sh shocking day for me. Uh, I didn't know what to do, so I just... Uh, uh, I saw that everyone's helping him. Because, uh, of course, he was sitting, right, at the dinner table, and we didn't see him, like, that he was actually unconscious already. He, because... He usually like likes to sit like down, downwards, and he was downwards, and we thought, ah, oh, it's just fine. But uh, and I was sitting next to him; I didn't even notice. Um, and yeah, like because he's unconscious, he couldn't lift his legs or arms, so we had to like lift him up to like uh, horizontal. <laughs> I think this is horizontal, right? Uh, to a horizontal pose. And uh, then we just tried to find something like really uh, like I think, yeah, we found vodka to just like put on like something and then just like go like, like that to his nose. And then he came back to life and uh, then the ambulance came and uh, and they yeah they said that he has like uh, mini heart attacks uh, um, and yeah and uh, he also had that a couple of years ago uh, at at some uh, like place. Um, and, uh, and we thought he's going to be fine, uh, but after a week, I think, uh, we, yeah, we wanted to go to Ozolnik to run, but, uh, with my mom and sister, uh, but my mom got the call that he has collapsed again at his house, um, and now when he's all uh, all alone in the house, uh, we hired uh, a lady to like make him dinner and stuff like lunch. And that was the girl that called like my mom's sister and then my mom's sister called my mom. And then she, mom and with my sister went uh, to go get in there. Uh, they went uh, with grandpa back to uh to here uh to our house and then my mom's sister came from Riga because she lives there to get uh, pick him up and went to uh, Riga uh so he could just get uh tests uh, uh from the uh hospital uh quickly um is that even work quickly or I don't know uh, more quicker, or, oh. um, and yeah, he did some tests, and, uh, they performed, uh, a heart surgery, like, I think they put something like, uh, uh, like that helps, uh, the heart, so it, the heart, like, goes in, in, like, right, uh, how do you say that? In the right speed, you can say. So it doesn't go like. At one point, it goes really fast, and then there's just no pulse. Um, and we thought he's gonna be fine because before that surgery, he fainted, fainted, uh, fainted uh, again at Riga. Uh, but after the heart surgery, we thought he's gonna be fine. Um, uh, I think it was two weeks ago, yeah, when he fainted again, uh, after the surgery, and now we, now we were like, what is going on? Like, what is wrong with him then? And then, uh, they called the ambulance, they came, uh, to the house of my mom's sister, and they said that, uh, he doesn't move a lot. And, uh, he's drinking, uh, like, not a lot of, uh, liquid, so he needs to 
drink more liquid and walk more. Um, but now when it was like full of snow outside, mom's sister didn't really let him go out, out anywhere because it was also was slippery out there. Um, and uh, yeah. Uh, uh, he needed to drink uh, more liquid because his uh, uh, blood was uh, very like thick. That's why uh, he, he was unconscious again. But um, yeah, uh, that was the last thing uh, I could have said about this year. It was awful. Uh, hey, it's me from the future. One last thing that I remembered uh, that really made me happy was uh, the time when uh, Team Latvia uh, managed to qualify for the Olympic Games uh, in hockey. <laughs> They won Italy 6-0 uh, in a hard match. They won uh, Hungary, but at the end they won it. They won them 9-0, and uh, a very hard game against France. But they won 2-1, and um, yeah, that really made me uh, happy because last uh, last time when they tried to qualify, they lost to Germany. In the final match and didn't make it to the 2018 Olympics. So, yeah. At least now they're going to be in the Olympics again. The only thing I can say more is uh, what I got for Christmas. I got a, a, a Thrust Masters uh, TMX racing wheel. Uh, what else I got? I got... Um, I got, oh, uh, a tennis bag. I didn't really have, like, a tennis bag. Uh, a, uh, a sport uh, t-shirt, a sport uh, shorts. Um, candy. Uh, a referee's whistle. Because I need that for the floorball league. Um, also, I got a, a book of recipes. Uh, because I like to make something. Uh, last year I also got uh, a book of recipes. And uh, this year as well. Uh, and also I got uh, a chocolate uh, like drink. Like a chocolate ball that you could put like in uh, hot uh, milk. And then it would like dissolve into hot chocolate. Which was actually very nice. Um... But yeah, that was pretty much it that I got for Christmas. Uh, I hope you have, uh, I hope you had a good uh, Christmas and uh, a happy new year. Probably going to post this uh, on the 1st or the 31st of December, probably the 1st of January uh, of 2022. But yeah, this was uh, more TTP and uh, see you in the next video. Peace.